Okay, hello everybody and welcome back to Mass Effect 3. So when I closed out last time, I remembered we had squad points to take care of. So I figured since I had eight, I figured I'd just do the get the fitness on all the way, which gives me the health and shield bonus, which is, you know, basic. But something that needs to be done kind of early on in the game. And I feel like I'm really out of breath for whatever reason. Let's see, so what did we get? We got increased shield charge, health and shield bonus. Increased melee damage. Nice. I do like that you get that that it's required basically to get one melee damage. You know, one melee damage increase. Um, so basically, I mean, we're we're spread pretty even. The disruptor ammo seems really good as it is. But I definitely want to get the next defense drone upgrade and the sticky grenade and the tactical cloak and everything. But now let's check out. Let's take a look. So we've got. Yep, we've got a new uh, Cerberus attack. If we go do this, we can actually... It's one of those times where you, one of the fetch quests is actually involved in a planet-side mission. So that's fun. And it's an interesting area. I liked it. We could go get the Rachni, which we'll be able to go see an old friend there. So I'm tempted to go there really quick. Um, not that it's really quick. It takes freaking forever. Uh, the Turium Platoon. That one is interesting. Yep, yep. We have to keep keep assisting. Um, oh, by the way, we got uh, in our known associates list. We got Dr. the Dr. Morden Solis is a master Morden geneticist Solis. and former operative for the Solarian Special Tasks Group. Dr. Solis is well known for his work in perpetuating the Genophage, a biological weapon that almost completely sterilized the Krogan species. I don't know how he's he well known for that. He's not ESG supposed to be well known for that at all. On Omega. Where his combat skills kept the clinic safe. Flight loop. Dr. Morden Solis. Ah, dang it. Oh, well. Okay. And former operative anyway, it says we don't know where he's at. Except we do. Um, alright, alright. So many fun things to do now. Alright, we've opened up the galaxy a bit more. Hmm. Pranus. Okay, look at this. Peto. Oh, element zero. Oh. Oh, yeah. But the truth went out after a lengthy academic war. Interesting what people want there, you know. They're like, oh, we want the credit for this. It's like... Why? I mean, it makes sense, but... Uh, tempting! See, look, I hate- it shows you where there's a system that we can't access yet. It only ever shows you, um, when you have to jump places, and then you realize, oh wait, I'm passing through systems like this. There's like, uh... Yeah, there's like two of them on this one. It's like, really? <laughs> really? Uh, let's do... Where are we? Right here? I'm tempted. I'm tempted. Because we could do just a casual-ish one where we just run and go beat up some Cerberus. But then I would feel obligated to extract the Turian survivals, survivors as well. In that area. But this one is long. Oh well, let's do it. I also really want to see who we're gonna see, so. Like I know we're doing, this is basically a spoiler run, but I don't want to spoil it too much. What's this? Oh. Oh shoot! I didn't realize we were gonna get scanned in here. Win. Ah, among members of the council military is being assigned to the station is seen as a form of punishment or exile. Yeah, well. Now you wish you'd pay attention more, huh? Shouldn't have scanned the dang nab listening post. Alright, best bet for anything being here is that this one. 
when they charged the howling gulf an enormous crater this is the rachni homeworld it's very interesting the rachni took samples of the new element back to swin for further studies yep Their research on Isa helped them reverse engineer the ship's FTL drives. Right. I wonder if they were in, that the Reapers controlled them at that point or not. Really? Oh shoot! Oh shoot! Their home world. Ha ha ha! Abundant subterranean rivers. Detonated explosion so powerful the sinkholes are still visible today. Evasion successful. Well, dang. Didn't get any of the resources in that system. Excuse me. Although Utuku is, inha is habitable, extreme temperatures and violent weather have discouraged colonization. Because the planet has little liquid water to retain heat, surface temperatures regularly oscillate between 70 degrees Celsius to negative 60 degrees Celsius. Which, if you operate on Fahrenheit, that's ridiculous. That 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 that's a ridiculous amount of temperature <laughs> difference. Utuku's vegetation is medical properly involved. Flexible central stalks to survive high speed winds as well as leathery leaves to shrug off the planet's frequent sandstorms. Animal life is mostly confined to the planet's small oceans. Utuku has few valuable minerals. Let's maybe scan. Ooh, cool. Big Saturn over there. Maldor. The Protean surveying team, the first reporter back from Maldor, said in a characteristic understatement that the planet had a bit of the good stuff if you can get past a little acid. Although Maldor's mineral wealth includes uranium, iridium, and other heavy metals, miners must contend with crushing gravity and atmosphere, boiling temperatures, and clouds of sulfur dioxide. As such, once the planet's most accessible ores were depleted, the mining interests that exploited the planet quickly departed. Alright, let's stand, let's get in between these two and scan. No? Oh. Uh, because it's a because it's a main mission-y type thing type system, I doubt we'll find much, but dang, I certainly made it difficult for us to get back into the mass relay right off the bat. Should have a helium-3 mining infrastructure. There are neither abnormal heat signals sources nor space strength from destroyed refineries. If the infrastructure was removed, it was removed entirely and within the last few years. So yeah, so the wreck that they came back to their home world, kind of, I think kind of expecting that nobody would expect them to be here and that they'd basically leave, leave this area of space alone. Because I thought saving the Rachnite Queen would be a good idea, but apparently not. Land. Time to go see my boy. Time to go see my boy. Grunt was the one I took most of the time with me. Oh, I just spoiled it, didn't I? Well, we all basically know who's there. Who are we going to bring? Who are we going to bring? Oh, no, we're not going to bring James because James wanted to go to Tachanka. Uh, la, 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 Garrus for sure. And we'll bring Javik again. Just because it's interesting to see other people's reactions to Javik. I'm glad they included that. I mean, they had to, like, put that in the game extra with the DLC, you know? I think I got, what did I get? I got the scope. This one, oh right. It increases the capacity, which, I mean, capacity is already really freaking high and I don't use it that much. So we'll try this one. And all right, no, I'm not giving you the scorpion. That one is a very specialized weapon. We should be good to go. We do have points, though. It's a concussive shot all the way. Power concussive shot with properties of the active ammo, enabling it to burn, freeze, disrupt, warp, or pierce your armor. Increase damage to organics by 100%. Increase force by 50%. Yeah, let's just... Get it. Big old powerhouse. 
Hmm. Why do you only have four, Yavik? We could get lift grenade or pull, or we could save up for slam or vengeful ancient. Ooh, we could increase the shield recharge speed by 20% for squad mates, which would up my current 15% one, which would be nice. Ooh, increase power damage duration and force. Uh, probably increase the recharge speed eventually. To get lift grenades go, yeah. Lift grenades already pretty bad, a eh? but ready. Let's do a bullet. To oh my gosh! I did not realize. I, I don't remember having to do it this often before. Seems like disc one's got like the main mission stuff, like the major, like the big main mission stuff, you know, and then. Everything else is on disc two. I don't know, maybe last time I played I did complain about it a bunch. I think I think my friend texted me earlier and I think her Dragon Age Origins saves have corrupted and she's feeling very sad. So send send thoughts to my friend. Poor friend. <sighs> oh, wait. Uh, was it? I don't know which game it is. Any updates? Shepherd? If it's Inquisition, our backup is waiting for us at the drop point. Arlac Company. Krogan Commandos. That's correct, Shepard. They are an accomplished unit. Their decisive action in liberating a colony from Batarian pirates made them famous. Good right, to hear. right. Other than that, there's been no word from a team of Krogan scouts since they went through the Rachni relay. Understandable. In my cycle, we use the Rachni as living weapons. Weapons? They were only yeah. animals then, without technology. Violent, but useful. When they became a problem, we burned 200 worlds to stop them. We don't know much. Wow. No Rachni activity has been reported. It doesn't make sense. We let that last Rachni queen live on the condition she disappear forever. She wouldn't risk everything to start a war. Just be ready for anything. And... Yeah, shuttle just arrived. You better get moving. Ah! See anything? Let me know. Grunt? Shepherd? Grunt? <laughs> Shepherd! <laughs> um. <laughs> what are you doing here? I can ask Look you at my the baby same boy. question. Didn't those idiots lock you up? They did. Put me in lockdown to keep the Batarians off me. Didn't want problems yeah. with the while they prepared for war. But the situation changed. Yeah, they got bigger problems, all right. That Swan changed because of the DLC. That company. They're tough. Think they're invincible. Reckless, but effective. Sounds familiar. Grant. What happened? How'd you go from being new and unproven to your own command? <clears throat> Wasn't easy. When Rex put Arlac Company together, he needed a leader who represented the future of our species. Thanks to you, I completed my rite of passage on Tachanka and became part of Clan Erdnot. I was an equal. And being the strongest, I was chosen to lead this honored company. I bet some didn't like a tank bread Krogan being in charge. I collected yeah. a few scars earning my place here. These Krogan respect me. You were a pain in the ass. But if you're Krogan or <laughs> soldier you are, we might make it out of here. <laughs> Glad you're here to crack some heads, Shepard. Hard to believe this might be Rachni. Seems crazy. The Rachni. Chance to face the old enemy? <laughs> Impossible to resist. Yes, you are the one. The Krogan who yeah. occupied my quarters on the Normandy. You left your mark. What? Who is this, Shepard? <laughs> you shouldn't be so anxious <laughs> to face the Rachni. They were formidable opponents, even to my people. 
Ask me later. <laughs> Whatever you say. We don't know if the Rachni had anything to do with this. We're here to find the scouts. I didn't see any signs of activity during our approach. Agreed. But this place smells wrong. Like a bad wound. Our scans show the tunnels down there lead to a large central point. If we're lucky, it's a nest. Sounds like <laughs> fun. Just like old times, Grunt. <laughs> Our luck, company. Move out! Grab what you need, Shepard. Meet me at the scout camp ahead. Sounds good. Ah, it's my boy! I was so happy. I did not know he was going to be here. And I was just completely overjoyed. No, we're not changing the loadout. Okay, well, let's, let's look. No, wait, do we even have anybody? We don't have anybody with a shotgun. Oh, well then. Alrighty then. Thanks for the shotgun. Oh yeah, and the pistol high caliber. Thank you. I actually do love picking up little pieces. I hear a uh, spoilery-ish for the Andromeda, the next game, uh, but uh, uh, apparently they're initiating a crafting system, which I'm kind of like, eh. I mean, I liked the ease of just picking up mods and throwing them on, you know? I don't know how I feel about a crafting system being introduced, but we'll see. Hopefully, it, hopefully it's not like a crazy crafting system because I just I don't really want to spend my time gathering resources. I just want to explore confident. and stuff. The Krogan are overconfident. It's their weakness. Yeah. I think, I think, I think last time I tried to go through that one, yeah. And it fell. So this time we're gonna go in here. Because it looks like there's something waiting for me. Oh, hey! SMG high caliber barrel. Yo, buddy. Yo, whoa. I'm very fond of grunt. Uh, what was it? It was, a, it was an SMG mod. We have the heat sink and the high caliber. Hmm. Our damage increases not much. Of course, the accuracy increases not much either, comparatively. I think I will keep to the accuracy though. Wow, look at that nasty thing on top of my gun. <laughs> Ooh, I do like the way the I do I don't really like the orangey color I've got go or that I had going on with it apparently what happened to the orange color or maybe that was maybe that was the version I had and now I have the upgraded version like the the, the four and now it's gray I don't really pay attention to that We got a new shotgun and a new... Whoa, who, who's got a pistol? Oh, no, wait. Is that the... That is the... Other thing. Oh, hey, wait, wait, wait. With the... Yeah, with the new... We don't have to give him the capacity thing. Increases the accuracy. Or increases the damage. Accuracy is already pretty high. Not like the damage increases that much, but he's my powerhouse, so. Okay. Garrus looks good. Thank you for the weapons bench. I appreciate it. I'm glad. I was about to say, I'm glad you can't fall, but that's really cool <laughs> that if you come over to look at it, Somebody said something. I like that. A long way down indeed, foreshadowing. Grunt. Ready, Shepard. We're right behind you. You ready to go? What did what you do up to? were defeated? I spent most of my time back on Tachanka learning what it was to be Krogan. In the lab where I was created, the lessons were like fighting with practice weapons. They had no bite, 
No impact. I needed the blood and pain. I made mistakes, but I learned. He would learn. He's very intelligent. And he thinks a lot. Like for a Krogan, especially a Krogan male, like he thinks a lot about his actions, and it's true. Like a lot of times, like you won't. You can be told, you know, don't touch the stove, but until you actually touch something really hot or something, you know, something like that, you don't really get, you're like, you realize theoretically, yeah, that would be painful, but until you actually do something for yourself, a lot of times you just won't fully understand. Tell me more about this company. Arlac means Eye of Wrath. We are named Ooh, after I like the fierce Tachanka Sun. Rex handpicked us from different clans to show a united Krogan. We were sent because we're the strongest. Did Warlord Okir imprint anything on you about the Rachni during your creation? Okir ensured I knew of the Rachni. They are respected as an enemy. Everyone thought they were dead, defeated by the Krogan. You proved that wrong. If they're here, my blood demands they die. But, 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 but we saved them. You weren't what there, but the we did. Party? Looks like something dropped half their camp down a hole. Their shuttle must have been lost as well. They weren't going anywhere. Doesn't matter. We're here to find the Rachni and burn them out. No, you're here to find the scouting party. That was the whole point. But that's Grunt. <laughs> He's excited to prove himself again. Yeah, I, I didn't think. I don't think I got a chance to talk to him last time. All right, let's get out going. here. Finally, right behind you, Shepard. Their armor is really cool. Woo, look at that. So, apparently you want me to go this way for whatever reason. Is there a way down this way? Oh, hey, there's guys over there. Oh, hey, there's more camp over there. Oh, wow, I did not ever realize. So this wasn't here last time, then. Interest, like w when the first group got here, you know. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, look out! Oh, I'm just so glad I was not actually in the window. And uh, apparently, oh, okay. I was like, apparently, the right. freaking thing just disappeared. Shepard, you in one piece? Looks like we're all okay. Keep in radio contact. On our way. Well, why don't why don't we just wait? Why don't we just wait for them to get down here? And I was like, oh, the thing freaking disappeared halfway through the air. But nope, it got stuck on a rock. Shepard is like the luckiest person alive. Boys, you all right? You all right? Shake yourselves off. Garrus, you're getting old like me. Javik, you're freaking old. Ahead of us. This was. I see it. This was so Grunt, creepy to me. Got a body of a scout here. Been dead a few days. Yeah. If he has his weapon, grab it. You won't need it anymore. Thank you for the heavy weapon, guy. <sighs> Looks like it. Garrus is like, no. Not okay. Oh, too far away. Whoa. <clears throat> nice, nice. This really is quite pretty. To make it a little harder, Shepard. Agreed. Everybody be ready. Garrus, you're supposed to have awesome, amazing uh sniper stuff. Confirmed. I know there's not something behind all of these, but there's something behind enough of them that's a good idea to. Eee! I see something. Eee! Yeah, it takes, 
takes like half your shields down. I think even if you get like at all too close, it takes a bunch of your shields down. Remember I kept losing shields and I was like, why am I losing shields even though I was trying to avoid them? So this doesn't lead anywhere. Hey, bad guano! No. These are the underground rivers. Up! Ah! Up! Ah! Those cord shepherd. Reaper technology. Maybe. Shepherd's like trying so hard to not believe the inevitable. Just keeping it up in mind. But she, more than anybody else, should know what Reaper Tech looks like. Oh, another one. Thank you, guy. Was this one? Oh, it's like the same. Oh, wait, now I can't pick it up? Oh. I just, the other one just disappeared? Okay. Ow! Ooh, buddy. No, no, you couldn't let the sniper have the tactical advantage of being up here, could you? They used to look like not, not what they used to look like. Oh, buddy. Uh. Uh. Oh, my God. Oh shoot, what are you doing right here? Right, they're having freaking barriers. Uh, put your armor piercing ammo on though, bro. Why aren't you dead? Oh, thanks. Barrier, 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 barrier. Let's see. Dang it, didn't do anything. Um... Oh, good. Okay, there we go. Oh, it's, it's, uh, it's bubbles pop. Should I hit the bubbles? Are they? They're coming up from over there, Garrus. Oh, swarmers. Oh, crap. Grunt, rack that presence confirmed. Modified and very dangerous. Finally, something to kill. Nothing here yet. Lost a <sighs> into a sinkhole. Bad way to go. The breeding ground must be here. The Reapers are protecting an asset of great significance. That's true. That is a good point. Uh, thank you. Seeing there are headlights on still makes me think they're alive. Look at that! That is so Reaper Tech if I've ever seen it ever. What, you're not gonna let me... Oh, I gotta jump? Oh, okay. I think this is actually a really pretty area, too. All mystical looking. 
I actually do think there's another Krogan up here. Possibly with another firestorm. Not oh, just some ammo. <sighs> oh, you have a firestorm. Thank you for the refill. I hope I hope I catch all of the Krogan. I at least you know want somebody to acknowledge their their death. I mean they they do, but it's it's just different, you know. Why don't you blow up each other? It doesn't make any sense to me. It just takes ages to blow them all up. Oh, come on. Agreed. Let's find out why. Ah, oh, it's just time consuming to have to do this. Like, I, I really don't know why anybody thought it was a good idea. Okay. Blocked, Shepard. Copy that. How are we getting by yeah. this? That? We're going through here, apparently. This looks important. That did it. Indeed. Garris is like staring at it. Sure, everybody gets through first. Our exit is cut off. Looks like we're finding another way out of here. Come on! What was that noise, Shepard? Sounded bad. Cave in. We're all right. Oh, you know. Good. Yeah. Didn't want to dig you out. Oh, that hurts my feelings, Grunt. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. Be nice. I got lost around here last time. Ew, creepy crawlies! Oh, God. Shepard, I know what happened to the scouts. What'd you find? They got hit hard. The leader ordered them to carry weapons deep into the caves. He knew the next team would need help. They died making sure we could make it to the central chamber. Come on. Exactly. Creeper tech. I'm pretty sure there's really no need to go over there, but at the same time, I'm not completely sure. makes my eyes go all fuzzy and red when it's not my health going down it's just my shields but you know whatever I'm pretty sure this is just an alternate way to get up here but yeah okay I'm never sure you know don't really know why they don't you know they give you two obvious options but whatever Make sure I'm not missing any... And I know at some point, something pops out. And it totally wigged me out last time. Is it here? Yeah, you did. You did. Oh shoot, man, just use your laser. Use your laser to fire on these things. Why am I wasting ammo? Ah. Uh, 
Looks like a last message. He's asked that it be delivered to an Asari named Araba on the Citadel. The Blue Rose of Ilium. So sad. I actually, that's one of the fetch quests that I really like doing. Is the well, well I like, but I don't like at the same time. Is um, the fetch quests that are like bringing back the last messages. I I'm glad they included that because it helped me see the smaller impacts this war has. Like you know, instead of just being like, oh, millions are dying and millions are dying. That's something that I can't change really yet, but but it's a number, right? It's just a giant number. But when you see the impact that the war has on everybody's lives in the small ways... Expect trouble. Yeah, yeah. Thanks, Javik. I appreciate your astute observations. This area sucks. 